Oh, God, go. Oh. No. These pests might be tiny, but get enough of them, and for many, it can feel like one's skin is crawling. My dad is super scared of them. I've only ever seen like one or two in one place. This is crazy. For the uninitiated, these long-bodied insects are earwigs. These certainly aren't new, but there's something a little different this summer. This is my plea for help um, for anyone that is also experiencing the overwhelming earwig issue um, and them like getting into your house. That's been mainly happening in like southern Ontario. Um, I'm pretty sure of. On social media platforms like TikTok, posts about earwigs have been showing up in feeds recently. Has anyone else like not seen an earwig in like five years and then this summer alone has seen like 45 of them? People seemingly trying homemade tricks to get rid of the annoying critters. I live in Southern Ontario and we're having like this craziest earwig problem this year and I want to show you something because it's, it's something that works. So it's soy sauce with oil and I just put it in a little lid and I, I put it level with the soil. As you can see in this graph on Google searches, interest in earwigs in the Maritimes and in Ontario is the highest it's been in the past five years. I've just noticed what I've been out in my garden obviously. Uh, I've noticed that there's been an increase of them. I wish I could tell you what the what the reason for it was uh, but I've definitely noticed a, a lot more of them. Adam Redman is the manager of Islington Nurseries in Etobicoke. He knows all too well what earwigs can do. It's certainly one of those things where you can go away for a weekend or you know if you're uh, up at the cottage or anything like that you can come back and kind of be like wow what happened. The bugs eat away at vegetables, herbs and various plants. So what can be done to deal with these bugs? Well most of the pesticides that killed off earwigs in the past have been banned. So Redmond recommends two natural solutions. The first is diatomaceous earth, something that can require multiple treatments. There's a couple of different ways that it can be applied, but the most common one and the thing that's convenient about this is you just pop the top off and you can sprinkle it right into the area that you're looking to create the barrier. The other option is the uh, food grade, uh, which is this guy located right here. You can see here it's got a nozzle on the top. It's even got a cool little straw that you can pop in. The second involves using basil, peppermint and cinnamon. He says all can help repel earwigs. But as bad as earwigs can seem, Redman notes slugs and other pests can have more dire consequences for gardens. Typically the damage that you'll see is just mostly cosmetic damage to the plants, so they don't do anything that's really going to damage the root system or anything like that, but they'll feed on the leaves of the plant. In Toronto, Nick Westall, City News.